My God in Heaven. Damn, that's a big box. And it's not just one of them, Brad. We got two of them. These are gigantic. Two gigantic boxes full of WWE action figures. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with an insane day of My Damn Hauls. We have two gigantic boxes full of what I can assume are WWE action figures. Now, this is very special because these two boxes do come to us from my man Giovanni. Huge shout out to Gio and Geo Gaming for hooking us up with these two boxes. I have no idea what's on the inside of them, but today, we're going to find the hell out. We're going to crack both of these open, and we're going to see what kind of WWE action figures we have in these gigantic boxes. A huge thank you to Geo again for sending this out, man. You're an absolute dream. Thank you so much, brother. Words cannot really describe how much this means to me. So what we're going to do is I, I got to put one of these down. I don't know what to open first, man. I guess I'll put the bigger one away and we'll open this one first and then we'll come back to this one. All right, we're down to the one box. This is the smaller one of the two and this is still ginormous. It takes up my entire arena. I say it takes up my entire arena. There's literally, there's literally plenty of space for other things. Yeah! All right, man, so I don't even know, I don't know what's in here. I don't know how to, uh, like, how I want to go into this. Probably should have done two separate videos. One massive mystery box and then another massive mystery box. But I said, F it, Brad, we're going for the big money. You gotta risk it to get the biscuit. So I guess what we're gonna do is open this thing up and get this massive unboxing done. But we only have one way to open massive mystery boxes or anything here on the channel. And that is with the good old trusty knife. What the hell was that? Yes! Oh my goodness! Check a carrot cake! Hope I didn't impale anything important. Alright, Brad, I'm sure Giovanni packed this thing with some sort of packing. So I'm sure we'll have to, yep, there it is. Let me look on the camera here. All right, man. And oh my God, in heaven above mercy. I can already see some things in here. What is this? You guys aren't going to believe this. You're not going to believe this. Let's open this up here. But what, what, what are we doing? Okay, I'm just going to preface this and say this entire box is full of mint on card WWE action figures. Yes, we have the Elite Series 29 Luke Harper figure slash Brody Lee. Rest in peace to the legend, man. What? A nostalgic pop to unbox with this classic packaging. Giovanni, I have no idea what you have sent here, but I am, if this, if this box is full of these classic WWE elites from Mattel, I have no idea what the hell to expect in the future. I honestly have to tread carefully here. How classic. We're gonna have to be very, very careful moving forward. I have no idea what to expect now. In these MDT unboxings, man, I mean, we could pull a full-fledged wrestler out of the damn box. Next up, are you kidding me, Brad? It seems like yesterday I saw this at retail, and now I I am unboxing this in 2023. The Elite 32 Cody Rhodes figure men on card. I have no idea what any of these go for. I'm definitely going to be looking it up after this video just to see what kind of craziness we've been sitting here, but... I can only imagine this figure's value has increased since Cody's come back, but I always love this figure. I love the formula, and it seems like yesterday that this figure was on retail shelves, and now here it is. I mean, I'm, I'm getting lightheaded. I gotta... I, I, I'm going outside. Next up, we have... Oh, dude, this is an underrated gem right here, man. The Defining Moments Undertaker. This figure was such a shelf warmer for some reason, man. This figure shelf warmed so hard, and it was so beautiful. Some One of the most underrated Mattel elites of all time, I could say. Look at this packaging with the purple and blue flames going down the side. You have that beautiful Defining Moments packaging there on the side and then on the back you do have the window into the back of the figure with the Taker logo and then you have the little description here and what's cool is that this has now returned this year so what a what better timing could it be than the Undertaker Defining Moments figure. Giovanni you know that I don't collect men on card WWE that often okay and now you're gonna send me this massive box of men on card WWE action figures. <laughs> so, Giovanni if I ever meet you I'm going to strangle you. Let's get this out of here. Next up we have another classic a Elite Series 31 Hollywood Rock or Rock Concert Rock, whatever you want to say. This figure actually is kind of getting the retreatment, right? We're seeing it re-released in the Ruthless Aggression Era Wave. Very beautiful. I don't have that one yet, dude. Just the classic, man. This is so classic. And I know it's like, oh, this is classic. This figure is only like eight years old. And this figure came out in like, what, 2014, 2015? So, I mean, these figures are almost 10 years old, man. Kind of hard to believe. Okay, what in the Sam Hill is, am I looking at? We have, you, you want to 
to see nostalgic, Brad. Elite Series 23 Undertaker. Mint on card, completely in the packaging. I know a lot of people are going to get kicks out of seeing all these figures in packaging like this, man. This is so unbelievable, Geo. Unbelievable. Elite 23 was a damn good wave, too. And we've seen this figure multiple times over the years, but this is a beautiful figure mint on card as well. So we have two Undertaker figures, and what a gem here, man. This figure kind of pissed me off back in the day. Elite 27 Undertaker. This coat pissed me off, man. This is just one hunk of rubber. I love the figure in general, but just the, the hunkiness of that damn coat used to drive me nuts. But we have Elite Series 20. 7 Undertaker. Again, my god. It seems like yesterday I saw this at Big Lots. The WrestleMania 31 Heritage Elite Undertaker figure in the black and red. What a beautiful figure, man. Good god. Men on card. Like, these boxes right here. This is some of my favorite packaging that Mattel's ever done right here. This open window like that. And not only do we have the Undertaker from that set, man, we have the Kane from that set. So, we there was only two figures in the set. I'm pretty sure it was Kane and Undertaker. And this figure right here has since got the Ultimate Edition treatment, but this is still a gem. You got the stretcher in there and the black and red packaging with this figure just looks so dirty man good lord okay giovanni what what do we do next up we have another classic it is the elite series 14 undertaker which is practically a re-release of the elite 8 undertaker except it does have a different entrance robe or whatever but this figure looks insane as well dude this packaging right here was elite pun intended the white and red and gold just stands out to me i just love the way this one looks i'd love to know down in the comment section below what is your favorite WWE Elite figure packaging of all time. Also, at Comic-Con, we're going to get the new packaging for Elite Series 105. We're, good, we're going to start getting new packaging with Elite Series 105, so we'll get to see that. But now, we're on to the last figure in this box, and we want to talk about nostalgia. We want to talk about packaging, man. This is a lot of people's favorite packaging ever. This is the best of 2010 Elite One Undertaker. Holy crap, man. Packaging so old, they don't even have, like, an Elite logo. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could count this, I guess, but it's not the same. It's not the same as, you know, the, the regular here, but they used to, this is like the original top picks, if you will. Best of 2010, Mattel, Undertaker there. Then you do have the stuff on the back here. What an epic set. You had Elite 1 Ray, Elite 1 Undertaker, Elite 2 Triple H, Elite 2 Randy, Elite 3 John Cena, and Elite 4 Kane. Holy shish. Dude, I mean, this guy has kick-started my Men on Card Undertaker Elite Collection. So that is box number one, and I am truly mind blown, man. All these Men on Card WWE Elites. We gotta get this other box up here, find out what the hell's in there, and it's even bigger than this box, so I do not know what we're gonna get ourselves into here, but what a crazy unboxing. That may have been the most just insane unboxings that we have seen so far, and we're only getting started. All right, fellas, we're moving on to box number two. Now, I have already opened this one, not like seeing what's inside, but I did cut the box open because... <laughs> When this arrived, you guys can see it's in a Big Bad Toy Store box. And this arrived, and I said, why the hell did I get this gigantic Big Bad Toy Store box? I don't remember ordering anything. I didn't get an email about anything coming. And then once I cut it open, then I said, wait a minute, that's not Big Bad Toy Store, Brad. And so that's where we figured it out there. But I have not opened it. I don't know what the contents reside in the box. So let's just open her up and find out together. And my Christ in heaven, what is going to be inside this box, man? I'm going to scoot this back just a little bit, and I'm going to bring it out one by one like we traditionally do here in the boxings. The boxings. The unboxings, you dumb jackass. Push that back. Open this this up. What do we got? Let's just start to what? What? What is this? I'm just I unbelievable epic moments elite welcome to the festivals of friendship playset Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho probably honestly like one of my favorite one of my favorite segments from that year and storylines honestly probably should have been for the Universal Championship but this was kind of the start of our epic moments packs man I don't remember if this was the first one or maybe it was the Undisputed Era with Cole O'Reilly and Fish but this box set right here is incredible I'd love to have this men on card autograph by both guys Dude, this is insane not what I expected at all. Did not expect to see that on this day. And oh my lord, we have another one. It is the Milk O Mania. Kurt Angle Milk O Mania Epic Moments 3 pack. If you open up the Velcro, it will unveil underneath the Epic Moments Stone Cold Steve Austin, Kurt Angle, and Stephanie McMahon. One of my favorite segments of all time. Definitely, this is like right up my wheelhouse, man. Oh, 2001, that is like the money zone for me. I hoped at San Diego Comic Con we'd get an Elite 01 Kurt Angle or Austin. I've been begging Mattel for it. This is probably the last time we saw that. I know we're getting the Ultimate Edition Kurt Angle, but this 
is such a beautiful set. I love this. You got the milk truck. Very, very cool, man. 2001. What a time to be alive. I want an Unforgiven Angle from 2001 and an Austin from 2001 in elite form. This looks great, man. Thank you. So Dude, I have no words for what we have witnessed here today. What? I mean, we could end the video now. We could end it right now. Next up, we have... Oh, snap. It looks like we have a pair here. We have a pair of the GameStop exclusive Kenny Omega AEW and Rival Street Fighter figures. How sick as hell. Beautiful figure. I love this figure. Men on card. Now, this is a figure set that I do have men on card. Just such an unbelievable... I'd love to see more GameStop crossovers here, but this is a beautiful set. Here, we got two of the Kenny Omegas, and it looks like we have completed the set. We have Matt Jackson and we have Nick Jackson here to complete our set here in the in the mystery unboxing. So out of the massive unboxing, we have we have the full Bucks and Kenny GameStop exclusive figures men on card, dude. I love that packaging from AEW. I thought they nailed it. They knocked it out of the park. Geo, my dude. I mean, he basically, he sent me stock for a store. He sent me inventory for a, to open up my own WWE action figure shop, which I should do, by the way. All right. Next up is Decade of Domination Triple H with the World Heavyweight Championship. Beautiful figure. We wanted this one forever from Mattel, and Geo sends it here, man. Very unique look for him. I love that packaging. I thought they nailed it. Giovanni, what? 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 I, I have no words. I have no words, and I'm still talking. Next up. I know that ain't what I think it is, Brad. Oh my god in heaven. Elite 34 Comic-Con Hulk Hogan. And you're probably like, what the hell are you talking about Comic-Con Hulk Hogan? It's because I always joke that this, this is Hulk Hogan. If you were to go to the con and look down the aisle, this would be who you see. If you went to visit Hulk Hogan or at a meet and greet, this is meet and greet Hulk Hogan right here. Elite 34, man. Dude, how, like, like I'm stepping into a time machine. Oh my gracious. Is this ECW Jack Pacific WWE Invaders Kurt Angle, dude? Look at that. Look at that classic. Got some Ruthless Aggression figures. Got some Ring Giants, which is an underrated line. Then we got the championship belts, man. Nothing will ever beat this era, son, even though the figures are significantly better now. You're not getting SmackDown shirt Kurt Angle, Brad. You're not. <sighs> Moving on. We have the defining moments. Macho Man Randy Savage. Did you pay $100 for this figure, son? I remember seeing this at, at Toys R Us yesterday. And actually, this figure was called the figure of the decade. It was voted. I think it was in 2020, maybe? In 2020, people said, what's the figure of the decade from 2010 to 2020? This won the vote out of Mattel Elites. And I said, uh, I don't think so, Brad. Still a damn good figure, nonetheless, and one that I have actually never owned. Got the star looking into the back. I know a lot of people enjoyed that. This is a beautiful piece, man. Great figure. Dude, what is the value of these boxes? Okay. I see a piece in here, and I might vomit when I pull it out of the out of the box here. We're not there yet, but I'm just giving you a forewarning there. Next up, we have, wow, what a classic. I think this is what, the Super 7? Look at this. The Super 7, Carl Anderson? Is this machine gun right here? It is. I've never owned this figure before. Can I slide up the damn thing, Brad? Is this not supposed to slide up? Is it tape? There's a little pull tab right there. You pull that up, and boom, machine gun Carl Anderson. There he is in all his glory. Didn't one of these figures get canceled or something? He comes with a can of beer soda. Good Brothers Carl Anderson, man. Look at that right there. I do believe this is men on card as well. Holy shnikes. I think this is like my only Super 7. Dude, thank you so much, Geo, man. I I don't have any words. I don't have any words, Geo. I have zero words. Just thank you, man. Thank you so much for this unboxing. This has been so cool. I'm completely out of my mind. And we're moving on. Next, we have the Hall of Fame Hulk Hogan action figure target exclusive. You know, one logo I've always loved about Mattel is this elite logo here with the gold and blue. I always thought that was sick as hell. He's posing there in the packaging. We've kind of seen a re-release of this, right, with the new Legends figure, but this is still a beautiful figure with the Hall of Fame on there. This would look really good. Men on card autograph. Got his auto right there on the back. Very cool, dude. What a sick figure. I know a lot of people don't like the torso choice and stuff like that, but still classic packaging nonetheless. Next up is the Entrance Greats Jeff Hardy figure, man. And it does look like it, it has some damaging here. Like some pretty heavy damage. So I'll probably unbox this one for sure. And I don't know if he wants me to, I don't know if he wants me to open all of these. I don't know if he wants me to keep them in on card or what the deal is there, but this figure when it was first released and when it first came out, man, this one, this one was so damn sick. This one had me in the chokehold because, you know, it was kind of like a, they got the license back for Jeff Hardy. They could finally make his figures again. They rolled out the entrance grades to look like the Elite One. Very genius figure. And I think you could still get this on Amazon for a pretty good price, but I love this figure so much. And this right here, I don't know if this is legit right here, but we have the limited edition Jack's Classic Superstars 
Rowdy Roddy Piper and Stone Cold Steve Austin 2-pack. And I'm pretty damn sure that is autographed by no other soul but Rowdy Roddy Piper. Piper. Are you shitting me, Brad? That looks to be legitimate to me. And this is unbelievable, man. Nothing beats this packaging. And also this Austin. They need to redo this Austin. Mattel needs to release this exact pack is what they need to do. This needs to be an Elite 2 pack. Redo this exact set. Dude, Jack's Classic Superstars. Hold on, let me... I want you to be able to see this. Up at the top, Classic Superstars there. Look at the Piper. Dude, what? An autographed Roddy Piper 2 pack with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Dude, what in the heck? This might be the coolest piece in my collection now. Giovanni. This is the piece that I said I'm going to shish myself. My God. What a pack. That's a beautiful Austin figure too. Okay. I took a breather and I'm coming back. We have a bunch of loose figures here that we're going to dive into next. And I'm just going to take them out one by one, analyze them, talk about them, react to them. And let's see what we got here, man. First of all, we have a Chris Jericho Jax figure here, man. And I know a lot of people like to crap on Jax, but Jax had some classics, man. Pun intended. Look at the tights there. I think this is WrestleMania 19. What a beautiful pet. Dude, I know we have this from Mattel, but damn, this is a good looking figure. Next Next up is a Kurt Angle here. Beautiful looking figure. Interesting choice there. Not the right boots that I like, but still a fire figure. We got the GOAT. Got a Dr. Thugonomics John Cena here. Looking good there. Pretty cool. Always love expanding the Jax collection. We have a version 1 Matt Hardy or a Matt Hardy figure here. Looking pretty good there. He doesn't have the V1 on the hand tape, but that's all right. We'll live with it. We have a Stone Cold Steve Austin. What's funny is we literally just got this shirt in the Ruthless Aggression Elite Wave, but pretty good there. I like this figure. Next up is another Chris Jericho looking like uh, probably 2005 ish nice pink color metallic color there on the tights we have a Batista figure very nice there in the black attire nice screaming head sculpt there from Jax we got another John Cena this actually looks to be One Night Stand 2006, if I'm not mistaken. Got the green chain gang logo on there, looking good. He never wore the brass knucks with the chain gang. I don't know why Jax always did that. We got Shawn Michaels. That looks a lot better than a lot of Mattel HBK head sculpts. We got an Edge figure. Nice little promo gear edge there. Interesting shirt choice there. Got the black shiny pants. Another Jericho here. Pretty cool. I think this is like 08, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, look at that. We got another WrestleMania 19 Jericho, but he's got the better head sculpt and... And he has his entrance shirt there. And they never put the graphics on the back of the damn shirts. They used to piss me off as even as a kid. We have a beautiful rated R edge, man. What a great figure here. Look at that right there. Great tights. Rated R armbands. That's a damn good edge figure, even though he's looking like effing Superman or something. Look at that rivalry renewed. We got another Matt Hardy from around the same era here with the uh, decent looking head sculpt. We got another Chris Jericho. Another entrance shirt there. That works really good for an 05 Jericho. They did pretty good there on the short hair head sculpt. We got, oh snap, we got a blue edge here. Very similar to his Elite 13 figure. I'd like to see Mattel redo this here, but boots aren't accurate, but it still looks pretty cool for an edge. Another Jericho. Very cool. Looks like an 03 Jericho here in the green. Very cool head sculpt as well, man. Those figures look really good, even on like Mattel Elite Customs. Another Jericho. I mean, my god, son, you see me the whole damn Jax collection of Chris Jericho? These would look really cool on display, but there you go. Got another like later run short trunks Jericho. We have, almost knocked a figure over. It looks like an 04 edge. Love that graphic. Always love that graphic. I don't know why we don't have a Mattel Elite. WrestleMania 21 Edge is what we need with the silver pants. We have it in basic form. We need it in elite form. We got another John Cena here. God, Jax used to piss me off. Chain gang armbands with Thugonomics Word Life Brass Nucks. Never happened. Oh, snap. May need to use this to make an elite. Mr. Kennedy. Mr. Yeah, I'm not going to do the whole thing. Another Edge figure. Great looking Jax head sculpt there. Dude, Jax, I, I mean, you can hate on him all you want. They did some wonky ass stuff, but they, I mean, they had some, for the time, man, nobody was effing with them. We got another edge here. Look at that. Speaking of WrestleMania 21, there you go. Red tights, looking good. We got another edge. This is an edge that I wish Mattel would do. I think they've done this in basic form, but it's the gray tights with the rated R's there. That looks sick as hell. Of course, they'd have to leave off all the damn graphics. We have another John Cena here. Very cool. I mean, even though, even though these figures aren't always accurate, they're still really interesting 
interesting figures in a nice time capsule into the times there. We got another Batista here, looking like, I don't know, like he looks like he's changing colors almost. Another Edge in the gray here, different head sculpt. Jax used to do that same thing with the re-releases. We got another Matt Hardy, very good head sculpt on there. Arms used to get all tangled up, but camo pants looking good. We have that in elite form now. Another Matt Hardy from 2005, got the nice head sculpt on there again. Look, it's like the same pants, but with a t-shirt, dude. Jax used to love doing that same shish that, you know, companies do today. We got a Christian, and this looks to be about an 03 era Christian as well. Got the black and pink tights. Very sick figure. We got, oh, just in time for the Ruthless Aggression Elite review, baby. I don't have the figure yet, but I'm definitely going to be plugging the comparison into that video. Look at that. Edge in the purple. We got another Edge. Dude, the Edge Chris Jericho's in this. This is very sick, dude. We need these all in freaking Elite figure form, though. We have, oh, dude, look at that right there. Suited Batista. This is fantastic for an Evolution Batista, dude. That's so sick. Put him in sunglasses. Need that in Elite figure form. And look how good this proportion is, even for Jax, man. Jax knew what they were doing with the suited basics. Not basics, you know what I mean. Uh, very interesting. This is probably his WrestleMania match with Mick Foley, except it's missing the, the entrance shirt, which I, actually, I may have that laying around somewhere, but you got Edge in the jeans and the hand tape. Got another Kurt Angle here, probably like 2006 it looks like. Maybe 05. I think it's 2006 though. Got the black sh wrestling shoes. We have, look at this right here. This used to piss me off, man. Look at this. His 54, one of my favorite John Cena attires ever. They gave him brass knucks, word life brass knucks. This looks like a god dang t-shirt. They put 54 chain gang, graphics way too small. It's missing all the camo decal. And then on the back, they just put Cena with no 54 on the back. Dude, Jax used to drive me up the wall with that. God. Even as a kid, it used to piss me off. Oh my stars for the love of lies. A Jax Jeff Hardy, bro. In the pink and gray. Need to make that. Need to convert this into an elite. That would be a beautiful looking elite, but that looks fantastic. And then it looks like the last figure we have in here is going to be a gold dust figure. And this looks pretty interesting for sure. I don't I don't remember ever seeing this one. Got the gold dust jacks in there. Very interesting builds. I mean, you're talking back in a time, man. Single jointed arms, single jointed knees, way too damn big. Boots didn't rotate. Ankles were basic as hell. I mean, dude, what? How did we get through it? But it looks like that is everything except this bag of, oh my god in heaven, that's the exact jersey I was talking about, and it looks like I have it now for my WWE Cena collection. Baggy full of excessive. We gotta open this up, man. We gotta lower everything. We gotta get the hell out there. We gotta get down there, and we gotta unbox this baggy of custom clothes from what it looks like my man PWR Lucha, who is absolutely the goat of custom claw WWE action figure shirts. Alright, man, so here is the bag full of accessories from Geo, and I know he hooks it up with PWR Lucha, who we featured on the channel many times, man, but he makes some of the best cloth goods, man. I'm so excited to get into this. I mean, my God, if the unboxing couldn't get any better, dude. First of all, this is a figure that I have been get, just begging Mattel to make. The Chain Gang 54 football jersey here. This is how it should look. You guys saw that figure, but I'm absolutely fixing up my John Cena collection with this, and this right here, man, is the baseball jersey. Another Chain Gang jersey that I've been begging Mattel to make, and I actually went to PWR Lucha first, made the graphics for this, and like sent him everything he needed to make this shirt come to, to life, and I think Giovanni obtained it from him and then sent it in this package, man, so thank you so much, man. We're gonna absolutely fix up our John Cena's here. I'm gonna make some different versions here, and then we also have the basketball jersey here, which also looks sick as hell, the black chain gang 54. I wish, again, I wish Mattel would get these right, man. God, I wish they would do it. They haven't done it yet. I mean, maybe it's coming, but you do have the baseball, football, and basketball jerseys. Just so damn nice, man. God, this is great. So you have that, and then also in here, we also have his Chain Gang Battalion Assault Battalion shirt, which is sick as hell. Regret nothing, fear less. Love this shirt. Already have this one in the collection, but not front and back graphics, so we're gonna fix up that Cena. We have the Finn Balor jacket here, the zebra, like, Judgment Day jacket that he wore here. He's got the stripes on there. This looks sick as hell as well. Damn, that's nice. And it's not even open. You just slide it over, and then it's like it's buttoned all the way up. That is hella fire. We have a Bullet Club flag. Very stretchy material. Like, dude, nobody makes it like PWR. Nobody. Oh, snap. We have the yellow Never Give Up shirt with the front and back graphic. Do have this in the collection, but not as good as this one. This looks, this looks so damn good, man. 
Damn, these look fire. We also have another Bloodline shirt here. You got Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman, the greatness amongst you, which is cool. And then we have two My Damn Toys basketball jerseys. If you guys were unaware, when I go to events and when I go to different things, I always wear my MDT jersey here. And I showed this off, and he actually, on camera, it's coming across brighter than it actually is. It's kind of more of a purple color in person, but actually, after a time of recording this video, PWR has made an updated version that he is sending out to me that we should unbox in a video very soon, probably after Comic-Con it'll arrive, but I had this jersey made by Jersey Bird, and I made my own custom MDT jersey. You got Brad for MDT logo there, and then you have the Ultimate Edition Cena as the, like, mock NBA logo, which is so damn sick. I may give these away to my patrons or something like that for their figure collections, and then we have the My Damn Toys flag here. Dude, how freaking epic is this, man? This, this just... Back when I started my page and my YouTube channel, man, never would have imagined what this all would turn into, man. I'm just so grateful and thankful. So grateful and thankful for this pile of clothes, the figures, the crazy mystery unboxing, man. I need to set everything up. Let me set everything up, and then we'll wrap everything up, man. I'm completely mind blown. Thank you so much to Giovanni. My God in heaven. So here is the entire haul all lined up, man. I did my best to kind of stack it here. And a truly unbelievable and legendary unboxing here on the channel, man. Huge shout out to Gio again for this, man. Wouldn't be possible without him. I am dumbfounded. I'm so thankful for him. I'm so thankful for just you guys that are out there watching the video, man. I'd greatly appreciate it. Leave a like on this video, man. If we could get this video to a thousand likes, I would greatly appreciate it to push it out to as many people as possible. If you guys enjoy content like this, definitely subscribe to the channel. Turn on your bell. I'll all about wrestling action figures and other action figures that I enjoy and love, man. This is just unbelievable. Just a serious classic unboxing. This feels like an old day of the channel where we would get, you know, a massive box and just go through it, man. But we have an unbelievable amount of figures here that I'm so thankful for, man. I have no words for Geo and his generosity and everything going on, man. So I greatly appreciate him. And I greatly appreciate all of our other patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Huge shout out to those guys. If you guys are interested in becoming patrons of the MDT YouTube channel, definitely go check it out. Link in the description below. But I think that is going to wrap it up, man. I have to, uh, I'm just going to sit back and bask in all this glory that we got going on here, man. But I would love to know down in the comment section below what you think is the best pull here. What do you think is the best collectible here? What do you guys enjoy most out of this unboxing? But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout out to Geo again, man. Go send him some love. But I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. We'll never back down.